All right, so welcome to another video. Um, I wanted to create this video to make sure that you all understood uh, a theory, right? And not only just defining what a theory is, but understanding theory versus fact and how to get this information. So one of the biggest things I noticed is in the projects that you submitted, a lot of the times you use a lot of Wikipedia, right? When you're going into the interweb, you must understand that Wikipedia is something that can be modified. Right. So anybody can kind of change information and it can't really be seen as something that we can use. Right. To um, run a debate on or have scientific understanding of concepts without having these basis from real sources. So these real sources and in which we use all the time, right, could be a form of Google because you have to use these as um, a form of finding some of these resources. But even when you're asking a question like, what is a theory? The definition here doesn't really give you the all in all details of the word or where it came from. It just gives you a nice snippet. It, it, this helps. This is helpful, right, for times in which you just want to know what the word is. But when we're doing research and furthering our knowledge, we have to go deeper into these words. So the word theory itself, a supposition or a system of ideas intended to explain something, especially one based on general principles, independent of the thing to be explained. Now, this doesn't really help in the knowledge based theory of understanding what a theory is, because it doesn't give you what is making up this theory. It just gives you the a nice fine surface level definition and the example below gives you Darwin's theory of evolution. So the next best thing to do is to dive deeper into the further definitions below here. Right. But with this video, I want to show you that this is just not the only place to go for this information and there's better resources. So we understand that if you scroll down further, there are more hits for the different dictionaries. We like to use Merriam-Webster dictionary online a lot, right, here in the States. But in the global aspect of academia, we also love to use the Oxford dictionary, right? This is the basis of the English language in which we're able to find different methods to um, understand these terms and terminologies. So first off, what I'm going to do in this video is we're going to talk about the Merriam-Webster dic uh, dictionary and define theory and facts. And we're going to do the same thing with the other dictionary being the Oxford Dictionary, the Learner's Dictionary. So we're going to dive in here and we see that the full definition of theory is shown here, a plausible or scientifically acceptable general principle or body of principles offered to explain the phenomena or a phenomena. So at some point, the wave theory of light is this idea of theory especially when it comes to these full definitions of theories. Now I want to scroll up a little bit because before we got to the full definition theory in the Webster, uh, Marion Webster dictionary, we are able to not only see the word that we're looking for, but if it's a noun verb or an adverb, right? So at some point the dictionary allows you to understand further how these words are used in sentences and how we can apply them to our current research. So one of the things in the first definition of the essential meaning of a theory shows that an idea or set of ideas that is intended to explain facts or events is the first hit when you scroll down to the page. Right. And it allows you to, to get the simplest form of the definition. And it comes with examples. So a widely accepted scientific theory is an example of this idea of a theory. So if we're going to use this idea of a scientific theory, an example would be gravity we all know that gravity is what we learn in school gravity is what we see every day and it's something we have accepted because there are facts right that are based off of different events that lead up to this theory until someone comes up with different facts that shows gravity being different and which is kind of hard to do right because we have done so much in the terms of gravity and this idea of gravity that it has become a major scientific theory now, we understand that Einstein's theory of rel relativity is also a form of a theory where there's objective understandings and there's also observations that make up this theory of relativity, along with the string theory. Right. So until someone comes up with different facts that make up a theory that can kind of debunk what we already have, these theories reign true within our society. 
So one of the second definitions shows that an idea that is suggested or presented as possibly true, but that is not known or proven to be true is also a theory, right? And there's examples shown below where her method is based on a theory that all children want to learn. Now, this idea of theory is where we all get confused because at some point, a theory can also be opinionated, right? To where someone believes that all children are going to love to learn but we know the truth if a child does not have an engagement towards a subject or if the child is not presented with their type of learning style at some point this can be debunked based off of that idea of a theory so we have now defined what a theory is right looked at these different terms and of course there's different ways and different um, definitions shown here as you can see we have that essential meaning theory with three listed three with four at plus five six and even more, right, of definitions of what a theory can be. And if we skip down to six, it says the analysis of a set of facts and their relation to one another, right? So we can find different definitions to help us understand the term. We also have synonyms and everything else that come down here. We're not going to dive into that in this video. But the other thing we want to look up is now what is a fact? In the same Merriam dictionary, we can see that a fact is a noun right and the first definition that we see here the essential meaning of a fact shows that something that truly exists or happens something that has actual existence all right something we can observe with our eyes something we can feel that's tangible something that we all can make sure that we understand right so an example here shows that a rapid electronic communication is now a fact we know we all have cell phones that's factual that can communicate through different electronical communicated forms right so energy is a fact we're using energy energy is something we have created we are using to apply to other objects including the electro electronic communication within our cell phones another definition right underneath it is a true piece of information so an example of this would be the book is filled with interesting facts and figures and we like to go to books and facts I mean books and things like that to find our facts because we understand that there was some kind of research that's gone into this maybe even a peer review that happened amongst multiple peers that have looked at this this theory or that has been made up of facts through the idea of books and journals so another example of this is are those old hard facts of the case so these facts make up the theory of that case so if we're going to be going into this example a little further we all like to watch our our videos about crime and all that good stuff right law and order and one of the biggest things that happens is that we're trying to find the facts within the case we're getting pictures we're getting um, different objects that were found at the scene of the crime these are factuals and when we see the movies a lot of these facts like to be hidden right by the criminal um, they like to hide things bury things or even change or manipulate how they look so these facts are very important because if we manipulate the facts and we come to the end of the case the theory may not line up accordingly right so at some point we must understand and get the facts right a full definition of a fact is something that has actual existence space exploration is now a fact if you have not looked into to the sky and seen a rocket from spacex or seen images or seen that your phone works from the satellites at some point you are living in an alternate reality because we are visualizing these things with our eyes now all right we're not just seeing it on tv and asking ourselves if it's true there are actual people working in these different sectors that you may know there are actual things that allow you to understand that we are living in a world of facts that make up theories the other part of this definition says that there it says that there's an actual occurrence right so prove the fact of damage if someone hits you in your car there is very little wiggle room 
to show that the accident did not happen if there is damage because the fact of the matter is in order for damage to happen there has to be some form of collision right so that is a fact the biggest thing to take home from this idea of facts in theory is that facts are things we can observe theories are what we create out of what we observe all right now using a merriam-webster dictionary it was great we found out there's multiple terms we broke down our facts and our theories and a difference between a theory now let's go into another website that website being the oxford learners dictionary where we're able to look further into the oxford dictionary and understand these terms now as you can see in the interface i'm not here to sell the interfaces of these different um, dictionaries but i would tell you the difference here allows for a deeper understanding of the word so here we start off with countable or uncountable in the idea of a theory and it says a formal set of ideas that is intended to explain why something happens or exists so depending on your idea and your intellect of what you want to see in your dictionary you would want to see something based off of what you can understand right so a an example here shows that according to the theory of relativity, nothing can travel faster than light. Now, in the other way, a Mary Webster, we only got the first part of this. We only got the according to the theory of relativity, then with the idea of Einstein, right? He was just explaining that that is a theory of relativity. But the added, nothing can travel faster than light, allows us to see that there is something further deeper than this idea of just a theory, that there are facts involved. OK, so the debate is centered around two conflicting theories is another example shown here. And as we see, we can go down to the second definition, the principles on which a particular subject is based. Right. And this also starts off with uncountable a theory. Now, with the countable idea of the theory, we see that a theory. An opinion or idea that someone believes is true but that is not proved. So now we get a little confused, right? Because we thought facts make up theories. So if facts are making up theories the proper way, then we can roll with them, right? But that is not always true. Someone can have a theory that is based on an opinion. So we should live more in the realm of facts rather than theories. If you want to go further into these definitions, you can do so on your own. I just want to show you the difference between the different websites. So the reason why Merriam-Webster is seen and used more is because of the concept of the deeper and more definitions that are found there to help out with the different levels of understanding. Now, within our Oxford Learners Dictionary, we go straight to the point. There's no buffering. We go straight to the point. We understand that a formal set of ideas that is intended to explain why something happens or exists is this idea of a theory. Now, let's go into what the same Oxford Dictionary says about what a fact is. A fact is a noun, right? We can also figure out how to say it. Now, the other things about the other thing about this website is that you click here and you get extra examples. So with these extra examples, it's hard for us to try to create our own definitions when we have so many already written forms of the definition. We do not have to recreate the will, people. So this fact shows that a thing that is known to be true, especially when it is proven. So it says here, a thing that is known to be true, especially when it can be proved or proven is a fact and it shows an example a fact about something first some basic facts about healthy eating so a lot of terms when it comes to healthy eating are based off facts or these ideas of research that have been put into play over and over again that are observed all right so if you go to the gym consistently you will lose weight fact you may have a disorder that slows this progress or some kind of issue that slows this progress, but consistent 
exercise leads to benefits. All right. Now, one of the other things to add here is that our second definition being things that are true rather than things that have been invented. So if we invent something or create something based off of an opinion or a theory that also shows it as a form of something we can observe. So the story is based on a fact is this example. And another example being is the account fact or fiction. Is the account there or is it not there? Yes or no. Facts are straightforward. We also want to look at the third definition shown here that says that used to refer to a particular situation that exists. So we understand that facts show things we observe and we can see in our current and present state. We also go further into our idioms down here that allow us to use the different terms fact and different sentences and different terms that we use every day. So the fact of the matter is that now it says here that is used to emphasize a statement, especially one that is up opposite of what has just been mentioned. Now, these facts versus theories are important because we use these terms loosely within our everyday. All right. And if you're going to be using these terms, I want you to be better informed on what they truly mean. Also, on your different resources that are free all of this is free that you can go online you can go to a library if you do not have a computer or internet to find some of these things if you do have this at home it's great to use for not just understanding a theory or a fact but also going further into things you see online debunk the memes by doing your own personal research now we'll go do more videos of this because this is just touching the surface on research. OK, we have Google scholars. We have webs of science that allow us to look further into these aspects of knowledge that we think are there. We also have different places to look into these definitions, right? Like etymology. But I won't go into the term I'm mean, into the website of etymology here in this video, but understand that etymology breaks down words right so as we go into our idea of fact and we look down all the way through here we can also see the language bank ways of saying things we have extra examples so with our extra examples and with this understanding of how to get the I want you all to continue doing your own personal research and we are writing those different reports please use different resources rather than Wikipedia to find your definitions and with that being said I'm signing off and I'll get back to you in the next video